Hey, Tony. Sorry I'm late. Hey. Hey, nice shirt. It's not a shirt, man. It's a romper. It's a one-piece. Like, it's clearly not a shirt. How dumb do you feel right now? How's it going, everyone? I'm Tony. And I'm Adam. And we both work for the Drum Center of Portsmouth, the largest independently owned drum store in the world. And today we're bringing you a very special video. This was fun to make. This is the American Drum Set Shootout. We wanted to showcase a few of our favorite American-made drum sets and being made in America is kind of where they stop being the same. Each brand has their own vibe and their own way of making these drums. In this video, we are showcasing the four biggest U.S. manufacturers that we carry, and that's DW, Noble & Cooley, Ludwig, and Gretsch. We are well aware that there are many other U.S. manufacturers out there, but these are the ones that we carry and that we decided to showcase for you today. We chose a high-end example from each manufacturer in a similar configuration and similar sizes, and we swapped all the heads to the same coded Remo ambassadors on top for all of the kits and tuned them the same, double-checking with the TuneBot. Before we get started, allow me to remind you to please subscribe to our channel. Uh, that really helps us out when you do that. It's a great way to easily support a independent drum shop and to stay informed on all things drums. The first company that we're focusing on is Noble & Cooley, which is awesome because they're right up the road in Granville, Massachusetts. Noble & Cooley has been around for a very long time. They're definitely the oldest manufacturer that we're featuring today, also the smallest. I mean, they've been making snare drums since the Civil War. They're very well known for their solid ply shells. It's really fun to feature them in a video where there's a lot of bigger brands too. And the Horizon Series drums that we are featuring today are a hybrid shell that is sort of a reissue. They had these a couple decades ago and backed by popular demand. They're maple shells with an interior ply of mahogany. It's a really nice combination. You get like the snap and the the openness from the maple and then a little extra warmth and, and low end from that mahogany for sure. And the snare drum that you chose is also very nice. It's one of those solid ply snare drums, yeah. right? Yeah, it's a, a 7 by 14 solid ply walnut, which is a beautiful drum. Great looking drum.
Up next, out of Monroe, North Carolina, we have Ludwig Drums and the drum set that we are featuring from them today, of course, is the Classic Maple Series. The Classic Maple Series is one of those things that we were always recommending to people. It's kind of our go-to maple shell drum set and for good reason. You can kind of do anything with them. They sound awesome in almost any scenario. They also just have a super classic look and even with this newer finish, the Digital Black Sparkle, it still kind of harkens back to that 60s era Ludwig aesthetic. Like they're punchy or like however you would... Oh hey Tom. The classic maple shells are seven ply maple with sharp bearing edges, 45 degrees. Yeah, they're just great all around sounding drums. These shells and the edges and just the way that they're made, they provide a really good punchy, thick sound, uh, but there's a lot of clarity. They're also kind of a chameleon. You can put different heads on them and they'll sound totally different, so you can really make them work for you rather than the other way around. And of course, what Ludwig showcase would be complete without a superphonic snare drum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this time we wanted to mess around with a copper phonic, particularly this is a raw finish with two lugs version, and it complemented the kit sound-wise, I thought, in a really nice way, but man, like they just, they, you can't touch Ludwig when it comes to seamless metal shell snare drums. Every time I play one, I go, why don't I own every single one of these? They're just, they're perfect. The next company that we're featuring is Gretsch, and they are located in Ridgeland, South Carolina. Not too long ago, I was fortunate enough to take a trip down to the Gretsch factory with Tom and Barrett, and we were able to see how the production is done down there, and it's really cool. It's a very small operation, a few people, everything done by hand as it was decades ago and you know Gretsch drums are all about vibe and the vibe with them is is something that's really tangible mm -hmm. yeah it's it's interesting too because their their drums sound different from behind and out front so when I'm playing them I'm hearing one thing and then when we finished Adam commented on how amazing they sounded out front and it was a totally different sound like he was hearing all the shell sound and this very like, you know, meaty kind of mid-range thing where I was hearing a little different thing. And I, I like the fact that they are drums that have a character and a vibe to them. Yeah, in these USA custom drums that we're featuring today, they're the only ones with round bearing edges, rounder bearing edges, mm -hmm. 30 degrees, right? Yep. And die cast hoops, and the rack toms feature five lugs 
on each side, which is a Gretsch signature. Yeah, a little bit of a learning curve when it comes to tuning, for sure. And the snare drum that we decided to go with is a new release for Gretsch. It is the Ridgeland USA Custom Series, which is essentially just a USA Custom, but thicker. thicker. Yeah, it's uh, got a really meaty, like half inch thick shell. Yeah, if you're looking for a Gretsch sounding snare drum, but you need more volume and you play a lot of backbeats, like this is, this sounds like a USA Custom snare drum that wants to be hit hard. The last company that we're featuring is DW out of Oxnard, California. The Californians. Currently celebrating their 50th year anniversary as well, so burp, 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 burp. Mm. Yeah. These drums are, they're very fine instruments and they have a very loyal fan base of, of drummers and artists that use them. They've developed a huge amount of technologies that companies have borrowed from over the years. John Good is known as the Wood Whisperer and each kit, each drum kind of carries that ethos all the way through. The drum set that we are featuring today is an exotic Pure Maple SSC configuration with an exotic veneer of ivory ebony which I mean when it comes to DW they are the benchmark for exotic veneers. Keeping with the theme of an exotic wood the snare drum that we went with on this is a beautiful drum. It's a purple heart shell. Purple heart is a very dense wood so this has a very aggressive attack to it. It's sharp, it's biting but also not overly bright and harsh. It's kind of a nice balance there. Good loud volume situation drum and very sensitive as well. Yeah, it's probably my favorite wooden snare drum that DW does right now. A lot of metallic properties and like you said, it's just gorgeous. Yeah. Anybody wanna see my purple heart?
Oh, the symbols. We used Zildjian K Suite Crashes, 18 and 19, as well as a 21K Suite Ride, and then the brand new K Fat Hats, 15 inches. Awesome sounding symbols, made in America as well. There you go. And there you have it, four really nice drum sets from four manufacturers that are located right here in the good old U.S. of A. Oh, God. Let us know in the comments below which one of these kits was your favorite. And if you'd like to buy any of these drums or the cymbals, the links will be in the description. We hope you enjoyed this video. We sure had a lot of fun making it. It was a lot of work. So if you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and we will continue to produce more of it for you. Indeed. Thanks for your support. Thank you. Dude, that shirt is so ridiculous. Uh, I know, yeah. It's actually made in China.